When will the FDNY tower truck come when out? When is the FDNY tower ladder coming in the new version? Hey, Fox, do you mind if I ask when is the FDNY tower ladder coming When is the tower ladder coming Well, guys, I'm happy to say that it is finally complete. We have the FDNY Tower Ladder, this is number 153, based on the 2022 Seagraves Fire Apparatus Attacker. And this is what it looks like, the brand new 2022 <laughs> design. I just finished this up today, because it was in my uh, little work area. Just wanted to finish this up, uh, since it was kind of complete, but we still need to work on it. And um, it's actually like really new, 2022, so uh, they got some new mechanisms here compared to like the original tower ladder and uh yeah here is the original tower ladder it is severely uh, outdated and it badly needed an upgrade so you can compare the two uh, designs you know we're using <laughs> different wheels as well you know it's packed with a lot of details based on a real thing just making things accurate you know we got some stilts uh right over here to put down uh the stabilizers we got this uh cab section here in the back uh, to fire out you know the water hose from this tower and it just sort of goes up like that and there was like one guy who was commenting can you make like other versions of it like with the ladder like in the activated position but unfortunately i cannot do that unless it's a commission because that would probably take too much time and i just wanted to do like you know the basic in transport mode where you can use this in your minecraft city or you know your fire department roaming it around um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this new design and yeah, let's get started on this build All right to get started on this build. Let's grab some materials. We'll take out a uh, smooth uh, quartz slab Red nether brick slab red nether brick stairs Case trap door a bedrock polished deep slate Red concrete nether brick slab nether brick wall. That's all we could hold right now. So first off, we're going to place this smooth quartz slab, just uh, two blocks above the ground like this. A red nether brick slab next to it. Red nether brick stairs, just facing towards it on the edges. And then underneath that, we're going to add in an acacia trap door. I'm um, just placing these blocks temporarily just to add them there. All right, then we're going to be start working on um, one half of it at a time since a lot of parts of this is symmetrical. So first off, we'll add in an L shape of red concrete here. Then we'll add in another brick block here, another brick slab, another brick wall behind, and a slab on the inside. Then we'll add in um, red concrete on the inside of this um, L shape. Then we'll go in the front, we'll add in bedrock at the bottom, polished deep slate on top, and then back here, we'll add in four blocks long of red concrete. Just like that, and a red concrete so that it is going dangling down here. Add in a smooth quartz slab here. And in front of that, we'll add in two acacia slabs and then dark burst marine slab. Then we'll go down here, add in smooth stone slabs in the front and the back of this wheel. And then upside down red nether brick stairs over like that. Then in this corner, we'll add in a black glass block behind a nether brick wall. And then a smooth quartz block. And then dangly up, smooth quartz slab, just uh, three blocks long like that. Smooth quartz block underneath. And then two blocks tall of polished anisite. And then fill in the inside of this polished anisite as well. Acacia slab at the very top. Polished anisite block right there. And then a polished andesite stairs, and then polished andesite slab like that. And then a daylight detector uh, right on top of this nether brick wall. And then white carpet on either side of that. Just like that. Then we're going to add an acacia sign to the side. Iron bar to the side of this. Lever over here. And then um, iron bar on top of that lever. Another iron bar right here. Another iron bar right there in the back. And then in the middle here, we'll add in a birch trap door, open that up like that. And on the inside, we'll add in a black concrete right there. And then a white carpet on top of that. Go back and uh, to this wheel here, we'll add in two blocks wide, black concrete, just like that. And also the inside of this window, two blocks wide, black concrete. Then the back, we'll add in a um, light gray, uh, banner like that and then a 
diorite wall here, black um, glass block right next to it. And then an acacia button right here to the side. Then we'll add in stone buttons on either side of this wheel like this. Also acacia button in the middle of that wheel. Uh, stone button here for the headlight with an item frame wrapped around it like that. All right, so next we'll add in red concrete. Back this could be five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five. Add in black concrete, polish andesite block. Uh, three blocks long, black concrete, uh, red concrete. And it's gonna be, let's say four blocks long, so one, two, three, four, like that. And in the back we'll add in polish andesite. And we're gonna make an L shape like that. And this back corner we'll add in uh, item frame, orange bed, upside down. Above it, oak sign, chip wire hook next to that. And then go over here to the side, add in polish and site block in the middle. Uh, nether brick slabs on either side of that. Nether brick block underneath. Case you bunch sides of this. And then nether brick walls in the front and the back of that. Then we'll add an upside down polish andesite steers facing towards the wheels like that. Skip a block here, add in two blocks tall of actually one block tall polish andesite. And then we'll skip a block, add in polish andesite steers, slab top, and then polish andesite block on the inside of that. Then two blocks long red concrete, two blocks wide red concrete at the bottom. And then acacia slab, and that's going to be two blocks long here. Another two here, smooth quartz slab. And then we'll go here, add acacia slabs, give a block acacia slab, and we're gonna extend this all the way across just like that. Then we'll go behind this uh, acacia slab, we'll add in red concrete, we'll make this go all the way across to the other side like that. Then we'll add in two red concretes here, a red nether brick wall. And underneath is going to be an acacia trapdoor. Then we'll go um, over here, add in red nether brick wall, red nether brick slab, and then iron trapdoor. And then we're going to make a row of dark oak trapdoors here. And then another row of dark oak trapdoors. But these are going to be our mud flaps so that they're extended down. Actually, they're extended down the other way. Just like that, and then another dark oak trapdoor right there. Alright, next we're going to make this banner. So go inside the loom, add in a red banner with white dye, and we're going to fill in the bottom third of it. Put it back inside, add in a red dye uh, border around it. And then put it back inside, and then we'll add in orange dye, just a line horizontally in the middle. And we'll just place that in the back, right in front of this polish. Um, andesite blocks like that. Alright, next we'll add in polish andesite block here, polish andesite stairs. Over here, polish andesite block, then two red concretes, polish andesite stairs, just like that. Then we're going to add in stone buns, two of them spaced apart. Over here, it's going to be uh, upside down, polish andesite stairs, a red nether brick slabs, two on a diagonal, dark oak trapdoor in the corner. But then polish andesite, just one there, and then two here on the diagonal. And then slabs on top of it, and then acacia bun in that little nook like that. All right, then we'll go behind the cap, add in a polish andesite um, stairs like that. Polish andesite slab in front, an iron trap door on top of this. Top of that, it's going to be smooth quartz block, and then two blocks tall smooth quartz block. Another brick fence. Then on top, skip block, smooth quartz slab, polish andesite uh, slab, and then five red nether brick slabs. So one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, polish andesite slabs till we reach the bucket part, like that. Alright, so after that, we're going to make a row of smooth quartz underneath, right where the ladder is. And then we'll go skip a block here, add it upside down, smooth quartz stairs, like that. Smooth quartz slab, dangly down. And then dangly down, two blocks wide, smooth quartz slab. Well, as a dark oak sign in this little nook. 
that. All right, so next we'll add in a red nether brick wall on top of this, on top of the bottom wall, and to the front of it, we'll add in a birch trapdoor to close it up. And we'll go to the back, we'll add an additional uh, polish and a site slab like that. Then we're gonna try to make this banner here. So we'll go inside the loom, place in a light gray banner with white dye, and we'll make that across the top third. Put it back inside with light gray dye, we want that on the left hand side, put it back inside, and then light gray border around it, and that's how you make this banner. And we'll just place that at the back of this part, and of course if you're making the other side, just face it the other direction like that. Then we'll go down underneath here, we'll add in um, an anisite wall inside, skip a block, and add in dark oak trapdoors, two blocks long like that. Alright, then we're going to add in a stone button right here. And we're going to copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. Alright, so once we have both halves, it should look like this. Then we'll add in daylight detector on top. And we're going to add an iron trap door next to it. Turn the daylight detector blue. We close that up. Looks like this. And then we'll go to side here. Add in... Um, and polish anisite stairs like that. Next to it is going to be a polish anisite block. And then over here is going to be a warp button. Underneath is going to be the exhaust pipe, which is a polish uh, blackstone brick slab. Dark oak trap door in front of it. Then we're going to add in an oak fence gate here. Open that up. And then upside down, polish anisite stairs here. On top, two blocks tall. Anisite wall. In the back here, two blocks tall, and a site wall. And then a dark oak trap door, dark oak fence gate underneath, open that up. Skip block another one here, open that up. And then some smooth quartz stairs gonna be upside down here. And then smooth quartz slab right there. And then down here, a polish and a site slab. Uh, oak trap door, close that up like that. And also add in dark oak button in the inside of this uh, wheel like that. And over here, delete this block. We'll add in smooth quartz block inside like that. Then we'll add in a polish and a site slab here. And then an acacia slab. And then a hay bale. Another acacia slab in like that. Also add in stone buttons uh, to the back of this. I think it is on uh, both sides. And there's gonna be another stone button to the side of this. Then we'll add in Scout Skull right over there in that corner. Then we'll add in a birch sign at the back of this. And another one to the side of this. Uh, smooth court slab down here. And then polish and a site block on top of this wall. A light gray banner behind it. And two blocks tall of uh, nether brick fence like that. Then we'll add a polish anisite slab, uh, red concrete, polish anisite block, a dark oak button here, and then a stone button. I'm gonna turn on my night vision right there. <laughs> stone button right there, and then two blocks long, iron trap doors like that. Next, let's go to the back. Um, we'll add in polish anisite slab here. And over here is going to be a grindstone wheel. We want that facing that direction. Uh, burnt sign in front of it. Dark oak sign in front of that. Open that up. Other side is going to be a birch fence gate. Open that up. On top, iron trap door. And then a white glass pane in that little nook. And then a birch button right next to this part. Then we'll add in a black carpet on top. And go to the back. Polish anisite stairs here, slab next to that, delete this block here, put a polish anisite stairs, and then a dark oak fence gate sticking out for the fire hose, and then an acacia button next to that. On the inside will be a red nether brick uh, wall in like that. Alright, next we'll go inside this little nook, add in this uh, deep slate brick stairs facing the front like that. And then deep slate brick slab right next to that. Fill in the inside of that. Polish anisite blocks like that. And then we're gonna go down here. 
and we'll place down dark oak trap doors right underneath that bedrock and we'll also add in between these two wheels in the back a polished blackstone brick slab just make a two by three on the inside of that like so and also in this front view mirror just place down a skeleton skull like that all right so yeah i think that is pretty much it on how to build the fdny tower ladder fire truck in minecraft i hope you guys enjoy the video and if you want to show your appreciation comment down below uh something about the build remember hit that like button and if you guys are interested in doing a commission by the way i can do vehicle commissions as well here at a severely reduced price compared to trains check out the link in the description if you haven't already subscribed if you want to be notified of future videos and check out our minecraft and discord server and i'll see you guys in the next one